Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And yesterday, sent me somebody sent me this curved arch window frame or whatever it is, and it had a lot of problems with it. And I started thinking today, it would be so easy just to redraw this. Um, I think maybe she got it somewhere, and it's it's got double lines and and broken nodes, and so I just drew one in just a couple of minutes. And so let's move this one out of the way. This is mine. We're going to measure this, and it's 16.75 by 41.373. So take your rectangle tool and have this unlocked and go 16.75 by 41.373. Now, with your corner radius unlocked, change this to 10. Change the other top one to 10, and you've got it. Now, I, I've already measured this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do every step. I use the parallel dimension tool to measure from there to there. Let me zoom in. And it's 1.2 inches. I thought I measured it earlier and it was only one inch. Let's see what that is. Yep. One inch. That might have been the problem I had earlier. Because it's not perfect. But we're going to make everything one inch. Yeah. See, it's not even... This might even... It might be even better if this thing's not perfect. So we're going to make everything one inch. Whoops. So I'm going to take my item and I'm going to go to effects and contour to the inside one inch in red just so I can see the difference. And there I have it already. Then I'm going to fill in this shape. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to make mine perfect. This one's not perfect. I'm going to measure this parallel dimension tool from there to there. Let me make my number bigger so you can see it. And it's 14.75. So we're going to draw a square. Let's just measure the square to see if it's actually a square. It's 7 inches. Yeah, see, it's not even a square, which is okay. So we got 14.75. Let's bring out a calculator. 14.75 minus 1 inch divided by 2 is 6.875. So we need a square that is 7 inches tall by 6.875, I believe what it was. Yes. Now we can get rid of our measurement and let's take this and grab that corner node and just set it in the corner now control d and make a duplicate and grab that one and put it in the corner so now we should have an inch between them which we do now let's zoom in well let's not zoom in all the way let's grab these two blocks Let's change our nudge factor. Okay, this is 7 inches tall. We're going to set our nudge distance on 8 to give us that inch space. Control D and move it up. Control D, Control D. We're halfway there, folks. <coughs> now, probably the easiest thing to do would be to take a line, just a straight line, that is 14.75. And take our pick tool and set that line right there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and I didn't get it there. There we go. Now let's set our nudge distance on one inch. There we go. Now we need to make a rectangle that's one inch thick by any dimension, really. And let's use this corner tool and let's let's set it right there. I'm using that as a like a snap to there. Control D and make a duplicate, double click on it, move rotation. I need to get to that center of that box. We well, you know what that might work. I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees. Control D and make a duplicate. Move our rotation. And 45, you know, if you can't do math in your head, 360 minus 45 is the 315 degrees. We're pretty good. Now, there's a lot of ways you could weld this, and but you could leave some things. So we're just going to virtually segment delete things. Uh, Sometimes I actually prefer doing it. Now, this is a contour, so we have to go to range and break it apart. Or it won't cut through there. If your knife just won't ever move, that whoop, went too far. If your knife just won't ever change angles, it's because of something like that. And this is really pretty easy, and you can slide all the way through there. Whoop. Well, I got too much. And there is a way you could weld this, but a lot of times it's just as easy to do this, and we're done. Take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And there you go, an exact copy of mine. It's not an exact copy of this. Let's, mine is all grouped together. Let's control, let's get rid of this measurement. Well, maybe let's get zoomed in. Sorry about that. And let's group this together, control G. Let's hit P and make sure it's in the center of that page. And now let's take this one and hit P and put it in the center of the page. And let's look at it. Pretty dead on. Mine's a little different because the thickness, and you can see the, the red line is, is perfect on this one. So my drawing is actually more uh, even symmetrical, uh, perfect, because we've got some different, this thing's not perfect, whoever drew it the first time. So that was pretty easy. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.